I can laugh about it now, man. So, one of my favorite memories, man, I was chilling my own business, and I got hit on by a gay thug. That jump was crazy, he remembers, right? So I was minding, I, like, just like that, I became part of the Me Too movement. So I was minding my business, right on the outskirts, right? And he looked like, you know, he was a thug, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was a thug, you know, but my man had a little sugar, you know what I'm saying? A little sweet, sweet. And my man had two cups of water, I should have known he was thirsty, you feel me? He had two cups of water, that nigga was thirsty. And so, I'm chilling, and my man was walking, and he stopped with his two cups of water, and he goes, you probably straight, but you fine as hell, dog. And walk in. And I was just like, oh. Uh, I didn't know, like, because if I stole on him, it's a hate crime. You feel me? Like, I ain't trying to, like, like, how do I take that? You feel me? But then I kind of felt good, because, you know, like, niggas and females want a nigga, you feel me? And, uh, and, and so then, and so then, this is the cold part. So then he came and he did a song, right? And the song was jamming. But I couldn't bob because I didn't want to think he had a shot, you feel me? I didn't want to be like, yeah, I got you, I see you jigging. But the mother was snapping. Like, I was like, I'm going to get it on line to him, but the nigga ain't going to. I ain't let the nigga know I like it. That mother was snapping, though. I'm with this old talented gay thug. This nigga right here, boy. Over here trying to woo me with music. That ain't going to work. That nigga said, he shot his shot, bro, half court. Now, yeah, my God, yeah. I felt hey, but I ain't gonna lie, I felt good though. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard for fellas to, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that my man down was like, oh yeah, I was on my junk that night. I was looking good, you feel me? It was crisp. So that was my favorite memory, man. And the way I got here, I used to work at a little bar in Osa Side. And there's not many black people in Osa Side no more. Like, we all a rare cake, you feel me? We all a rare cake. Like, when white people see black people, they like start looking confused. Are you lost? Did you miss the bus? There's not many of us. So I work in the bar, and one of my homeboys come up and he like, yo, nigga, there's a place where black people be coming and just expressing themselves. I was like, word? He was like, word. And he disappeared into the night. And I've been coming ever since. And then I've been coming ever since. I've been coming ever since. Let's go. So if you feel it, years, man. That's longer than any relationship I've ever had. So kudos to y'all, man. You know, I be having rental car relationships. What happened to your girl? That was for the weekend. And I'm going through something right now, man. Me and my ex, we in purgatory. We ain't broken up, we ain't together. Y'all know what it's like when you be in purgatory. Y'all don't know what to do. You be arguing and stuff. Yeah, I hate you too. Yeah, I hate you too. You still coming over, right? Still coming over? Okay. Yeah, I still hate you. My family hated it too, because when she come over, they be looking at me like, thought y'all was broken up. I'm like, sure, we're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah. How broken up are we? Are we like broken up, broken up, or we kind of broken up? Like, we kind of broken up? Are we like white broken up, or we black broken up? You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. It's crazy, man. It's crazy when you're like girlfriend, boyfriend, purgatory, man. It's sad. So sad. So sad. Y'all never played uh, Who the New Nigga? Y'all know fellas don't play Who the New Nigga. Who the New Nigga is when you snoop on any social media and you try to figure out who the new nigga. She posted two. Real story, real story. I was snooping on her Instagram, right? She was on her too. And she posted some food, but there was two plates. I said, Who the New Nigga? Who the new nigga? I said, this bro, I barely eat. She got two plates. Oh, that's a nigga place. Look at all that rice. I said, nigga, it's crazy. Called her up right away. Hello? Yeah, who the new nigga, girl? What you talking about? Who the new nigga? You got two plates and one got extra rice. You know niggas love rice. Who the new nigga? She said, Crystal over here. I was like, you don't need to be hanging out with Crystal. Crystal, be home. <laughs> Hanging out with Chris, just like hanging out with a new nigga. I love y'all, man. I hate my job. Make some noise if you hate your job. Yeah! Hey, job. Oh my God. You know you hate your job when you see somebody and you envy them and you shouldn't even envy them? 
Like I was driving to work one day, and I seen a homeless man. And I was like, dang man, I bet that nigga ain't got a good up at phones. Yeah, he also ain't got no house and no teeth, nigga. You can't be based on no far back. Hate my job, man. I got this theory though, Pete, man. And for those who hate their job too, you know, it's scientifically proven. Watch. Go ahead and do it when you're in the parking lot. You can tell what kind of job you have when you pull up what kind of music your co-workers listening to. It's real chop. It's real chop. I pulled up next to a white man. I look over, all I heard was DMX. I said, oh yeah, this nigga hate this job. He hates this job. That's not morning music. We work at 5 a.m. DMX is not 5 a.m. music. That is not 5 a.m. music. I said, that's a white man with black man problems. I feel you. And he looked at me and was like, Next morning I pulled up, this nigga was listening to nothing. If you bug, I had to check on her. Hey, my man, you good? You good? You listening to workout music, you ain't working out. What's happening, man? You ain't got the AR or nothing, do you? I'm telling you, man, you know you hate your job when you were something bad would happen? Like, when I go to work, I'll be like, man, if only we could have like an active shooter in this month. Like, real quick, because I'm in the back. And I'm next to a window, so I just kick the window out and I'll be free in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on Anderson Cooper talking. It was terrible, Andy. I got over there with my life. I'll be gone real quick, just like that. Bow! I'm out to this, just like that. I'll be pulling this move right here. I'm gone. But then I started thinking, man. This ain't why I got too much time in my job. I started thinking. I said, depending on what kind of shooter it is, depends on my reaction. Like, if that nigga look trained, I'm gone. Now, I'm not saving nobody, don't say my name, I'm out. If you look trained. But I said, if this look like a rookie, like an emo shooter, oh, I'm gonna take this nigga. I said, I'm gonna wait. I said, I'm gonna wait till he get comfortable and he kill like eight people and he think he got it. And I'm gonna get low and I'm gonna pop up and get that nigga to John Wick real quick with a ballpoint pen, you feel me? And then, you feel me? And then, I can sell my story. You know, I can sell y'all a book that leads to the movie that lead to the song about how I took down the cross bad judgment. You feel me? You feel me? Tell me. Can y'all see it now? I'm wearing like the same suit talking to Anderson Cooper. I just did what any man would do, Andy. I did. I just, I'm no hero. I'm no hero. I just did what any man would do. I just, I, I stepped up. I stepped up. I, I'm beating the change I want to see. That's it. I would milk that everywhere. I would milk that everywhere. I'm not paying for nothing. I'm not making no reservations. I'm, do you know who I am? Oh, you wasn't there. You wasn't there. It's okay. It's okay. Turn to CNN tonight at 8. You know, you know who I am. You know exactly who I am. It's been a good week for me, though, y'all. I can't complain, man. For those who don't know, man, I'm a young hustling brother and I take care of my mama. Now, when you take care of your parents, it's really hard. Cause every day you look at them like, nigga, this is messed up. It's not supposed to go like this. You gonna take care of me. Now, I didn't ask for this. So every day I just walk past my mom and I look at her like she's a nigga on the couch. She's like, what you doing today? Going to work. So finally, all my passive aggressiveness is paid off. So, you know, mama got a job, y'all. Make some noise for mama. She done got a job. You know what? Nigga, here's a James Brown. I was like, what the? Here's out. Let me see it. Let me see it. So my mama drive for a lift now, y'all. <laughs> hey, don't knock the hustle. Started from the bottom now. We here. You might get my mama when you lit. You know what I'm saying? So if Sherry pull up on you, y'all better give them five stars for your boy. You know what I mean? So she's nervous, right? She ain't been in the workforce in a while. She's like, dang, I don't know. I said, don't trip, mama. I'm going to be your first ride. So I went around the corner and everything. I made sure she got the full lip experience. I went around the corner, requested, boo -doo -doo. little picture of me popped up cheese in the shit. She was selling that boom. Drove around the corner twice. And we act like we didn't even know each other either. She was, you creep? I was like, you Sherry? Oh, yeah, thank God. Got it. Close the door. How you doing? Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Then it, got, then it got dangerous because we started like talking junk about each other because we were still in role playing mode. I was like, you look happy, you look like somebody's been taking care of you. <laughs> she was like, you have to 
absolutely right. My son, he used to be a gangbanger. I was like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, nice to play, mama. So we chopped it up. She dropped me off at Dairy Queen. It was cool, whatever, right? She was like, right, you have a blessed day. He slammed the door. Alright? I'm in line at Dairy Queen. My phone started ringing, right? I pick it up, it was my mama. She said, nigga, you only gave me two stars. I said, it's just business, mama. It ain't nothing personal. The conversation was dry. It was the car wasn't that clean. He had a music on me. You know? I'm supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do that. I really did it because I didn't want to get my mama as a Lyft driver again. You know, if you get two or minus, you don't get that person again. And I can't see me and a girl get my mom as a Lyft driver headed back from the club. That's gonna get awkward. We gonna get in, I'm like, oh, damn, this nigga here. <laughs> then the car don't say nothing to it, don't say nothing. Hey, God bless you, who is this? This isn't the one from last week. <laughs> so it's three o'clock in the morning, where y'all going? I know y'all ain't going back to the house. <laughs> this is my house. Yes, going back. I love y'all, man. Make some noise for comedians, man. It's hard. It's hard, It's so hard. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like a thug. When I get up here, I, I keep it G-rated. I can't be a nasty comedian. I try to. I be something dirty when I go home. Oh, you said that? No. That's a little viral. Your pastor gonna see it, call in. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that get up on this stage and be nasty, man, you brave. Like, you brave. You brave. I couldn't have did that. Sit the what on the face? I would have changed that line real quick. I would have been like, milk and cookies on your face. Milk and cookies on your You don't make a lot of parents have some conversations they don't want to talk about. What's on my face, daddy? Nothing. He's just serial. He needs to know about how you got here. I can't be nasty like that. I just can't. I'm feeling guilty. I have a conscience. You know? I don't want to scar nobody. You know? Especially when you a big nigga. You don't want to paint that picture for people. You know? Hey, nigga, mind your business. <laughs> Niggas from the outside always want to hate, don't they? Niggas from the outside always want to hate. Big house, nigga, we <laughs> 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 